Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. Well, anyway, now let's go make a card. Hello, today I'm going to show you how I store my paper pumpkin kits. And they usually come, well, they always come in these boxes, but when you have so many paper pumpkins, this gets to be a little out of hand. So after I'm done doing my paper pumpkins, I put them in these boxes. And these boxes are actually in the catalog. And I'll put a link in the details of my video. So all you have to do is click on the link and order them. But they're on page 145. It's this number seven here. And these are the boxes. And then if you go to paperpumpkin.com, where you know you get your subscription or you can go through me and, and get a subscription for Paper Pumpkin. Um, but if you go on their website and scroll down, there, there's this thing under the month that says download the stamp case insert. And the stamp case inserts look like, like this. So you just print them out on your computer and then go ahead and take your paper cutter and cut them down to this so they fit in the case. So this is the one I just did a video on. Um, I only used the items in the box except for some blending pens and some paper. So I didn't use anybody else's uh, or any additional stamps or dies or anything. So when after you cut this down and you get this box, now you get four of these boxes for $10. So if you're a demonstrator, you know, you get your 25% off. So after you cut these down, you open them up and you just stick your insert in just like so. And you've got this nice little box. Now I just did this video. So what I did is I take my stamps and I always back it on a piece of white paper anyway. So when I'm using this stamp, I can see basically this on the back. So. I've got this here and now I'm going to go ahead and take some tear tape and I'm just going to put this down like so. And by the way, I do sell my paper pumpkin kits and I'll show you a, like here's a paper pumpkin kit that I've done, you know, a while ago. This is March and I've got everything inside of it that's extra. The only thing that won't be in it are like dimensionals and the stampin' spot, but everything's in there. So here's my tear tape and I'm gonna peel this off and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it inside and on the right of the case as soon as I get this off. Now I got the peel off of the tear tape. I'm just gonna put it in on the right just like so. Then I take the instructions and I take my paper cutter and I just score this in half like so and I flip it upside down. So it has like a little pocket here. And then I take all my little extras. So all the little pieces I put in a little bag and I put inside there. I take any of the bigger pieces that I think are worth saving and I put them in here. Usually I don't include the envelopes because they take up a lot of space. So there's generally not a lot of envelopes. But if you just have a couple left, go ahead and fold them closed. I, I closed just a few of these envelopes because I used a lot of the envelopes to make the paper pumpkin alternatives. And I'm just going to put it inside there and close it up. And look, I've got one, two, three, seven months of paper pumpkin kits that are all just nice and neat. And I'm gonna put these up on my um, website. So if you go to joyocards.com and go to shop and they'll eventually be there, probably give it till February, 2022, just to straighten out my shipping issues. And all of my retired Stampin' Up! products are there uh, to buy. I'm eventually gonna get my cards up. And so that will do it for me and that's how I store my paper pumpkins. Thanks, bye.